Paul O'Halloran was a student at Burney's Marist College in the 1960s. In recent times, he's seen six former staff members jailed for historical child sexual abuse. It's unimaginable, I think, the damage that has been done to this community through the abuse on the scale that it was. Mr O'Halloran has supported former students seeking justice in the civil courts for the abuse they suffered as children. But it may become harder for people with abuse claims to receive compensation payments decided by courts. Victim survivors are unable to directly sue the Catholic Church, but they can sue the subordinate entities responsible for the abuse. Those entities usually have their liabilities covered by insurance, but Catholic Church insurance, which is owned by the church, is winding down its operations. In a letter to policyholders, the company says it's been continuously challenged by unprecedented demands on capital reserves, in large part due to high volumes of abuse claims. And if there's no insurance to indemnify, particularly some of the smaller orders or dioceses, I think we'll very quickly see that various sections of the Catholic Church are crying poor and that there won't be enough money to appropriately compensate victims. There are concerns it won't be easy for Catholic organisations to find new insurance that covers abuse claims. So for the Catholic Church to say that they can't meet their liabilities through the Catholic Church insurance, in my view, is immoral. Church leaders say they'll continue to work towards justice and healing for the crimes and sins that took place where that is possible, including through the payment of compensation. Loretta Loberger, ABC News.